Hi again, people. It's time for another Impact Wrestling Review for Thursday, July the 21st of 2011. Sorry, it's a little up late, but I'm reviewing it anyway. Tonight's Impact Wrestling was, mm, like I said, it's TNA. You know what I mean? TNA is like, you know, a lot of BS going on with stuff and the same old, same old crap. You know what I mean? It's like, the X Division match, there's a lot of okay stuff tonight, but like I said, mostly it's just garbage as usual. Let's start with the first match, which was a Bound for Glory series match, one of two tonight. RVD versus Steiner. RVD gets the victory, little sneak up, but the match was okay. And I fell asleep during it. No, not just because the match was boring, because I was a little tired of that. That's all, like, when I'm a, it's always when I'm, I'm like in a unique position. Like, I'm, if I'm, like, in the couch, like, in a certain position, like, in a certain position, every time it makes me want to go to sleep, you know what I mean? It's kind of weird like that. I don't have sleep apnea or anything. I don't, as I know of, but... Anyway. I've been sleeping during the first match of Impact for two weeks in a row. Because I'm in a certain position every time. I fall asleep doing it. Not because the match is boring or anything, just... My body just caves into this comfortability when it's in this certain position on the couch. Okay, then our second match. I didn't know there was three title matches. I said there was going to be a knockout singles title. We'll get to that in a second. And we're also going to have an exhibition match as well for the exhibition title. I don't know any flies in here. Anyway, first match, title match. Second match of the evening was knockouts title. Sarita, who was wearing the face mask, I told you about that shit, a little face injury. And Sarita, and Sarita and Rosita, they took on Taylor and Miss I Can't Wrestle Herself, Miss Tess Marker. Tess Marker's okay, you know, aka Brooke Adams from ECW, she was in the Extreme Expose. And, you know, that's just okay for knockouts match. Better than a Divas Tag match, but still, you can't compare it to it. So then you had Madison Rain in for you, because before the match, they did a little brawl backstage. Then they brought it to the ring, and Madison Rain interfered. I thought, and I knew that was going to happen. I was predicting to myself, I was like, Madison's going to come out and interfere. But she did. She did. And, but Victoria slash Tara and Miss Tash Marker got the victory. They all knew Tina Knockout Champion, Tech Team Champion. Like I said, that division is kind of weird. I think the Knockout's Tag Division. Probably the second worst division. Probably the worst division of TNA. It's like, you just randomly put these tag teams together in knockouts, try to make tag team wrestling visible, and make it legit when it comes to females. And it doesn't. You know, you had people who left the company. You know, Mod is a champ. She had a look. They had a big key time so many fucking times. And of course, they've been switching it back and forth and back and forth. Da -da 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 -da. And let's see how long these people hold it for. Let's see how long Tara and Tess Marker hold it for. The match was a fatal four way Bound for Glory series match. AJ versus Gunnar versus Morgan and Joe. This match was pretty good. Pretty good ladder match. Fatal four way. Some decent spots. AJ doing the pay later. Of course, the finishers on a roll. Cause led to the carpet footprint. I like that the move when Joe drop kick Ghana through that ladder. That was like shit, dude. Like I said, man, Tina can be kind of crappy at times, but it's all just something good almost. With Tina, you know, no matter how much stupid the storylines get or how stupid the groups get and how they demote certain teams and certain divisions, we'll get to that in a second with the X Division title match. Sorry, I'm playing one of this thing. Even this is exciting in TNA Impact. Doing this is more exciting than most. TNA, it's okay. Like I said. Morgan got the footprint and all three men were down. AJ, Gunner, and Joe. So, Morgan got the victory in his ladder match. He's got him 10 points. What is he, 24 now? And I think the leader is... The Undefeated. Grimson. Like I said, man, they're trying to put Grimms in like a, in the undefeated guy and let's see how far he goes. 
Our next bit of business, they had a promo between Bill Money, Mexican American. And I said this last week. Mexican American gets a shot, and they're getting a shot at Hong Kong Justice. And Bill Money wants to prove to everybody, hey, we've been in the singles stuff, because they've been participating in this Battle for Glory series. Wood's been in a couple matches, so is Storm, they haven't done much in it. Proving that they still will be promoted as tag team champions and tag team wrestlers. So that is a little fight with Mexican America, all four members, including Serena and Rosita, with Anarchia talking, and James is like, American! Introducing, reintroducing the tag team of Bill Money to the fans who forgot they were tag team wrestlers. Who could forget? They were one of the best, but, like I said, the tag team, I said this on my review last week, the tag team division is dwindling. You mean, Either the good tag teams either have one person injured or fire, like Jen Me. And of course, mostly machine guns fall in the injured category since Saban's injured. Right. Not much. Okay, making, Not much. making video. Not much. Making video. Anyway. I've been getting disturbances all day long. I made a video, I had to delete it. Because I had so many disturbances. That's so what you get from living here. Anyway. So then, after that little promo, we were supposed to have a knockouts, knockouts title match. But before that, we had the X-Vision title to think about. Speaking of the X-Vision, Chris Saban's partner, Alex Shelley, took down Mr. Brian Kendrick. The match was slow at first, some decent spots, you know, some decent spots. There was some okay, unique pin predicaments by Alex Shelley, but he had this sliced bread on the side of the wing, and Kendrick hit it, so it's like, did it, did the way up You know what I mean? His face got smacked up, and also the areas was hiding somewhere. He attacked Alex Shelley. And this is after he hit that sliced bread on the side of the wing. He had it done, man. He almost had Kendrick done. And Kendrick's okay, but like I said, Spanky ain't the best. You know what I mean? He'll get beat. Hopefully not by a best again. Anyway, Saban got nailed for the title with Austin Aries. Like I said, not the biggest Austin Aries fan. He's okay. But we'll see how this Aries and Saban feud, not Saban, Shelly feud gets going. And of course, that enabled Brian to get the victory. Even Brian was like, what the hell happened? He didn't know what happened. He didn't know Austin Aries interfered. Because he and Shelly shook hands before the match. So these, hey, because like I said, man, X Division, the, it's all about no limits and all about friendly competition. Friendly competition, that's all I gotta say about that. They were supposed to have a knockouts title match. Now, I predicted that Jackie and ODB were going to get involved. Well, they did. And more, not just them. Angelina and Winter got involved, attacking Mad Mickey before she even got to the ring. Velvet so came out attacking them. Then ODB and Jackie came out. And then here comes Miss Brooks, a.k.a. Tracy Brooks. She's back, apparently. You know, she's been making semi-appearances on TNA lately. Because I think, if I'm correct, she's... Mary to Kazarian? I like Kazarian just because it's my name backwards. Kaz? Zach. Anyway. There was no knockouts title match. I'm thinking either going to have the title match next week. Or make it a later date. And have a tag team match. Or six person tag. Have Angelina team up with Jackie and ODB against Tracy, Mickey, and Velvet. This whole Velvet storyline with people pushing her away, with the whole Angelina breakup, and then of course what happened was what happened with ODB and Jackie. Velvet can't seem to go anywhere without someone getting in a business. Her business. She gotta brush it off, girly. Brush, brush that dirt off your shoulder. It kicks some ass. Made it that time. Sting and Ango versus Anderson. Mister Anderson. Anderson! He's from Green Bay? I got two words for Anderson and all the Green Bay fans. Because fans. The Bears! NFL Lockout, stop it, boys. Anyway, Anderson and Bully had their way. They had a little interference and attacking people. And Sting and got a little problem wanting to each other at the beginning of the match, but the match was okay at best. Sting got in like a house of fire attacking everybody. And Angle got the angle slam. And the tag of Sting and Angle got the victory. 
But of course, it ain't about tag teams. It's all about one thing. TNA World title. They're taking on each other at Hardcore Justice. So Angle, Sting at the end of the match, they sure can. Okay. Then <laughs> pull the back. Sting got pulled back by Angle. That's how Impact Wrestling ended the night. Like I said, man, a lot of build up for Hardcore Justice. We got Angle Sting. Angelina takes on Mickey for the time. So I got so. Mexico and America, they'll be taking on Bay Money. Bay Money. I almost said British Invasion, but I have a cover. It's moving to be attack. Anyway, let's see what happens with more build up for Hard Justice as we go along. That's my TNA Impact review for Thursday, July 21st. See you again tomorrow for another attack line. Is that in mind? See ya. Stay cool out there.